Okay, finally, I'm going to make a video showing how to get Cody to play on your Xbox One. I apologize, I kept forgetting to make the video, and then I was loaning out my Xbox. So, when I will remember, I never had my Xbox to show. Alright, so, first things first, you want to download a couple things. You want to download Cody, obviously. Now, basically, how this is going to work is you're going to use two apps. You're going to use Cody, and you're going to use a media player that can send media to your Xbox. So you're going to download Kodi, K-O-D-I. I mean, I'm sure everyone knows that by now. You want to download Kodi, and the media player that we are going to use is called Bubble U-P-N-P. There you go. Bubble. Damn, I can't spell. Excuse my language. Bubble U-P-N-P. There you go right there with the big B on it. So you want to download this. I might as well update it since I'm here. You want to download that. Now, while that's download, oh, wait, let me go back. You also want to download ES File Explorer. This may sound like a lot, but it's not going to take long. It's not going to take long at all. ES File Explorer, dang. Might as well update that while I'm here, too. All right, so download Bubble UPNP, and then you want to download Media ES File Explorer. All right. Now, browser and search for Bubble UPNP. MP, dang, I can't spell UP. NP, there you go, um, and then space and put core, C O R A. So bubble U P N P core. All right, now you want to go to this link right here at forum, the XDA developers forum. Um, you should get the same results as me, but look for this one. There are other sites that. Are, will probably work but this is the one I tested and this is where I got mine from so all right basically you want to go to where it says download links and you want to download player core factory for a bubble you bubble what the oh I hate ads all right get that out of here and let me show up my please excuse my slow internet all right so you want to download the player core factory for a bubble P bubble UPNP. And it will start any moment. Ugh. Okay, you see the little download link link down there at the bottom? Don't worry about the text in the box. You see the download link at the bottom. Click it, download it. Alright, it's downloading. Now, while that's downloading, you want to go to to ES File Explorer. All right. ES File Explorer. Click this settings button all the way at the bottom. Click the settings button. Now you want to go to display settings. Just click display settings and you want to go, you want to look for show hidden files and you want to check that. You want to be able to see hidden files. All right. And you check that. Now what you're going to do is, uh, I hate the way this, uh, the layout of this thing is, it's kind of confusing. Oh, let me see, remember, let me remember which one first, Cody. All right. Let's go to, go to your download folder and you see Bubble UPMP Player Core Factory. Um, I can't think of anywhere else it would download if it's other than your download folder. If it's not there, you may want to go back to the site. And download it again but anyway you want to rename oops you want to long press on it and then click rename at the bottom of the screen bottom right of the screen now you want to just rename this player core factory all right hit ok now task failed I must I think I have one here already all right let me delete this one you shouldn't have any problem with that, but I, I ran through this just to make sure it worked, and that's why that file was there. So, long press player bubble UPMP, 
rename it. You rename it to simply Player Core Factory. Click OK. Now, long press it again. No, long press it again and hit copy or move, but I just, just copy in case something goes wrong. Copy. Now, using this thing right here on the right, you want to go to, oh no, wait, no, no, no. The very top of the screen, you want to go to your, uh, your root directory, I guess. Mine says zero. Right, right above this, mine says zero. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to go to emulate it. I don't know what yours may say, but see, yours may say, but you want to basically go to the internal storage of your device. So, all right, I hit, I hit the emulate it because that is the internal storage and it's called zero. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to find a folder that says Android. Where is it at? Oh, no, wait. I'm not looking for that. I am looking for Android. Where is it? Oh, there you go. Android. Sorry. So you want to go to Android. Then you want to go to data. I had to check first. Now, this is where all your apps are. So you want to go to internal storage, Android folder, data. Inside the Android folder, you want to click data. And when you get into the data folder, you want to look for this right here. Cody, XBMC. Yeah, I said it all wrong, but yeah. You want to look for this one. You want to click that. Wait, don't long press it. Just click it. Click files. Click dot Cody. Now click user data. All right. Now, this is where you're going to move that player core factory. Remember... I told you to long press on Player Core Factory and um, click copy. So now you're going to, when you get to here, when you get to dot Cody, you're just going to hit paste at the bottom of the screen. Right in the middle of the screen, the bottom, you're just going to hit paste. All right? Now, Player Core Factory is in your Cody files, and that is the Player Core Factory. Basically, what it is, is it's going to tell Cody to use that media player. Uh, to play movies, Bubble, UPnP. It's going to tell Cody to use that. So now, that's pretty much all you need to do. Now, where's Cody? Now, you want to open Cody. All right. Making sure, assuming your Xbox is on, your Wi Fi already, you're on the same network. Go to your videos, pick a video just to test it. We're going to check. I don't know. Arrow. Just pick a random video to test it. Man, my phone, this thing is so slow. All right. I'm assuming you already know how Cody works. If you don't, you pick a, you pick a, a TV show or a movie and it'll show you a list of sources and you pick a source and then it'll play. Now, what it should do is play directly into bubble UPnP. Oh, no stream available for that one. Let's try this one. Click. Okay, one playback. Okay, external player active. So it should play on bubble UPnP. Oh, get this out of here. All right. Um, it shouldn't be playing Walking Dead. That's from a couple days ago. Let's play... Local. All right, hold on. Switch. Uh, hit this. Uh, these lines up in the corner. I, something went wrong. Hit these lines up in the corner in the top left corner, where it says local renderer. Click it, and hit Xbox One. All right. So now whatever plays is going to play on the Xbox One. Now let's figure out why this didn't play. Let's try this again. All right. Oh, all right. So I need to install this before it'll work, apparently. So I'm, I didn't even. <laughs> sorry for not reading it. It said you need to install this 
you need to install this file to play basically um, to play files from other apps you have to install this file so that's what it said so yeah it looks like it's going like insanely slow so I'm just gonna wait all right I just finished installing it or downloading it it's installing now and hopefully arrow will pop straight up yes success just hit okay to cancel that and we might have to try it again because nothing's happening so hit the back arrow hit the back arrow let's pick the movie file or video file again let's see if it works this time all right it's loading I see it in the top right of the screen it's loading once it plays on here oh no stream found all right let's try a different video file but once it plays on bubble UPnP it it, it go to your Xbox right away that's the easy part so we should be done at this point let's try another episode All right. Please excuse my slow internet. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is terrible. All right, I paused it since it was taking so long to load and now it is loading on my Xbox and I guess I, I don't because I have to turn on the camera to show it to y'all still loading I don't know if it's because of my internet or if it's just this, the whole setup it's uh I suspect it's my internet that I'm using my phone's hotspot right now and it is still loading 